Hi, it's Andrew Baum here at IBC. I work with AMD and I'm a Strategic Relationship Manager. I'm here with Dave Helmley from Adobe. Hey Dave, how you doing? Good to nice see you. Nice to see you again, Andrew. I heard you've got a lot of new features in Premiere Pro and on the Mercury Playback Engine. I'd love to hear what it's about. Can well, you tell me? Let's, let's get ready to take a look, but I'll tell you, as you'll see, it's an even bigger release than NAB. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. Show let's me. Let's check it out. So the first thing we'll take a look at, as you'll notice, is it's a whole new UI. From a distance, you can just tell that we've reworked uh, the icon. It's got a blue interface now. We did a lot of research with customers to find out uh, if you could change the UI, what were some of the things that you either found distracting or things to make it easier. So a ton of research uh, went into this. Uh, some of the quick things that might be easier to see uh, on camera is I can actually come in here, go to font size, and go extra large now. So I can actually control font size, which is really cool. Uh, another cool one that I really like is I can go in here, if I want to search for a particular clip, this particular music video here has a lot of dancing clips in it. I can actually now search for the word dance right here, and you see all these clips that come up that relate to dance. Well, now that I've done that query, I can hit on create a search bin, and it's made me a virtual bin for dance. So there's a lot of creative stuff like that. Now, it goes further than that, because I want to show you some of the technology and how we've teamed up uh, with AMD and, and companies like that on really increasing the performance. So what I'm going to do is I'll grab a clip. Let me just make sure this is the right one. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and send that to the timeline. So let's go ahead and get me a new sequence from clip. Now, what I'm going to do with this particular clip is you'll see, you know, it needs an effect on there. So I'm going to right mouse click and we're going to send it over to After Effects. So we'll give After Effects a second to open, and we're going to go ahead and uh, put a special effect on there and do a dynamic link and come back in Premiere. That's nothing new, so let's just go ahead and get that done real quick. Now I've got an effect here. I'm going to go in and duplicate that effect. And let's go over, and I will just put a very simple After Effects type effect on it. I'm going to go in and grab some keyframes. modify those, twist them around. Let's just make sure that I have some good animation in there. That looks good. We're going to go back over to Premiere Pro. And you notice I've got this red line here. I want to go ahead and do a new process called Render and Replace. So this is a brand new feature that we have right here. And we have a brand new codec from Cineform. It's a finishing codec. It's a 64, 32-bit, or 24-bit finishing codec. That's going to go ahead and render and replace that. Now, it's completely turned this into an MOV file. You can see it's an MOV. I can now right mouse click and say restored unrendered, and that turns it right back into an After Effects project. So very, very cool. Another uh, thing that we've done here is we have a brand new project manager that also will rely on uh, you know, things like the, the uh, 9100, in this case, OpenGL, uh, OpenCL. We can come in here and say, I want to take a, a, a sequence or two. I want to consolidate and transcode that based on the sequence settings. I'll put that as a Cineform codec. Now it's going to toss out the unused clips, give me 100 handles on either side, move it to a new location, and make me a nice, small, tight backup project, so that's a brand new feature. But let's get out of there, we'll start a brand new project and show you some of the real high performance stuff. So another great feature that requires a lot of GPU horsepower, and we're going to kind of work out this uh, 9100 in this case, and I've got a very simple uh, image here, it's just a green screen, but I, what I want to show you is I want to use this area to show you the new tracking tool. So let's come over here and we'll do something like uh, a color correction on this. I'll drag and drop an effect. And what you'll see here is we have a brand new pen tool because now I have a Bezier mask tool. So we need a very precise tool and very precise hardware connection to make that happen in real time. 
So we're going to come over here, outline his face just a little bit. And you'll notice when I close that, I now have uh, a lot of new uh, indicators on there helping me through this process. So I'm going to go in and just make this easy. I'm going to come in and just maybe blow him out just a little bit, okay? Now what I can do is if I start pulling these handles out, you can start to see how this gets feathered and how it gets stretched and applied. So that's very, very powerful. And of course, as always, I can go in here and just track that and it's using that, uh, that hardware. Absolutely a top feature of the show as well. This is an example of the new Cineform codec working inside. This is totally relying on the GPU uh, for playback in this case. Lots of effects have been applied to the timeline. As you can see, I've got a yellow line which is using the GPU, the 9100 uh, in this case. Just a beautiful sequence. And it also scrubs very, very fluently. So if I come in here, now you might be asking, what kind of project is this? It's a Cineform. 6K project, scrubbing that fast and that efficiently using the OpenCL hardware. It's absolutely amazing. We've been showing this in our booth and people are going crazy. Why? Because I could have a souped up system like this Dell system that I'm using now and I might have a new Mac Pro user that's got some D700s in there. Now they have a codec that'll go back and forth, a finishing codec. Absolutely one of the top features that people wanted to see is this ability. And again, it's all at 6K, not dropping any frames, just absolutely stunning. Now we take it a step further than that. Let's talk about even better performance. I'm gonna go into my media browser and I'm gonna take a new uh, format that we support, which is Phantom Cine. So the, the, you know, the raw file coming from the Phantom, the camera file, I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. This file is a thousand frames a second. We can now handle that, relying on the GPU acceleration, and just look at the performance of that. We're at full resolution, no drop frames. And Andrew, that's been the hit of the show.